Hi, this is Chris with CCG Sales. Uh, thanks for uh, tuning in. This is a uh, new slash old video. I uh, have had my popular video for creating uh, creating uh, space nebula, star fields, star twinkle, supernova, that sort of thing. I discovered um, a new way to create some nebula that's really fantastic and really easy and much quicker than the previous way. So I thought I would uh, throw this quick tutorial together and uh, we'll see what we can do. Okay, so what I'm going to do is create a new file 500, 500 by 120. You can, whatever size you want to make it, uh, the higher the resolution, the uh, sharper the, the details are going to appear. This is just for uh, testing purposes. Okay, so 500, 500, 120. Okay, so all we have to do is create two layers. It's really easy. Okay, top layer, going to fill with black. Okay, bottom layer, we're going to leave transparent. Okay, on the top black layer, you, you'll notice this is similar to my uh, other tutorials. We're going to do a filter, render, difference clouds. Okay, then we're going to re repeat that filter uh, on a PC. It's Control F, so Control F, I'm going to do this a few times until I get something that I like, the nebula ish. Eh, let's try that one. Okay, now we got to do the same thing that we did on the previous ones. We're going to do uh, uh, image adjust brightness contrast. Remember it is contrast up, brightness down. We want to bring out the speculation, the little filaments in here. We want to make them pop a little more. Okay. Okay, we do that. There we go. Now I'm going to take the brush and let me get a, uh, a good plain brush here reset my brushes. There we go. Just uh, something to paint in. Okay. Is that going to do it? Let's increase the size of that. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to take the black and I'm just going to get rid of the stuff that I don't want. I'm just painting black over. So, just to leave the stuff that we want. Leave the stuff that we want. You can change some of this, whatever you want to keep. Anyway. Okay, there you go. <coughs> Alrighty. So we've got our quote unquote black and white nebula layer. Now here's the cool part, the new trick I learned, okay? On the black and white nebula layer, I'm going to set this to luminosity. Okay? That's gonna let color show through the white. I know that on the previous tutorials we we're messing around with screen to let the black be invisible, but we're going to let colors through on the white, okay? So we do that now, we go to this blank layer below it, and this this is a much cooler and much faster way to color the nebula, make them look much more realistic. Um, you can you can be more judicious with your colors, you can uh, shade them, tone them better, this is really cool, okay? So I'm actually painting on the layer below, but it's going to show through the white See that? Now it's not showing through the black. So I can make my nebulas any color I want rather than like I was doing on my previous tutorials where I was basically making one color and then sort of adjusting them from there. Okay, so this way you can make gradients of color and like say going from lighter to darker which is really cool. Um, uh, you know, say like there's a star or something and it's a, a shade of orange or reddish and you want it to get a lighter you just choose lighter colors on the background. Now see what I've done here? You can see all these pinks and reds and purplies. That's what I'm actually doing. See those colors right there? Okay. But you don't see it because all, all it's appearing to color through is the nebula that we're doing, which is cool. Uh, you can use different variations, you know, uh, contrasting colors. However, I'm, I'm not really an artist. I just fiddle around with Photoshop. Um, you know, whatever opposite colors are, or, you know, comparable colors, whatever that art people out there, you can leave notations in this video and let me know uh, where to find a good source of, I don't know, a color wheel or something like that. Uh, okay. So I was, you know, making this this nebula reddish, purplish, pinkish, uh, maybe a little blue thrown in there. 
Okay. Now you don't want to get too crazy with this. Um, you know, you don't want to throw a bunch of wacky colors and make it look like a clown vomited all over your picture. But uh, <laughs> that's one way of putting it, I guess. Okay. So uh, yeah, I'm just coloring, 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 and just I'm just going back and forth and choosing different colors different colors okay now if I really wanted to I could take you know I could take this layer that I've just done and I can do a filter uh, blur Gaussian blur and sort of smoosh them all together see how that's making the colors down here meld some yeah that actually worked pretty good I like that see it didn't when I don't do it see how those those colors are just so bold and contrasting when I Blur them out more. See how they're fading in together? Okay, that's really cool. Okay. There. Now, all I gotta do is take these layers, filter, merge visible. There you go. I've got one layer that has the colors in the black. Simple. Simple. Now we apply some of the other techniques from my other videos. I'm going to use the dodge tool to lighten stuff. Remember that? We're gonna lighten. Now this is where this this works so much better than the other way because I have the colors are combining together as opposed to where I was making one single layer of red nebula, one single layer of blue nebula. nebula. Here the colors are combined uh, because of that one single, that one layer that I was coloring on. So it makes more natural combinations. See, instead of just lightning red or lightning blue, it comes out and it makes it purple and it makes it all different colors. Okay, isn't that cool? And you can adjust it that way. And then from the other tutorial, if you remember for adding the star layer, um, we go back and I get the brush and I'm going to use the star brush. Again, sorry I'm going fast, but you people that have seen my other tutorial know how I'm doing all this already. If not, just go back to the tutorial. Maybe I'll add <coughs> an annotation in here. Where the heck is the star? There we go. Remember we got 48 and we've got the 25 so I'm on the new layer and I'm gonna put these star twinkles on there Oh, I gotta make it a color that I can see there we go okay there's one there's one now remember this is where I was just lightening those so we can go back and tweak this however we want let's go back and get the big brush the 48 and let's put a couple more in there we got that one and that one. There we go. Okay. Now the other thing that I discovered is these uh, star twinkles. Dull them down a little bit. There you go. See that looks a little more. It, it's got that like fuzzy, ethereal, uh, soft look to it. There we go. Okay. Uh, I can merge visible. I'm not going to do it yet because there may still be some other tweaks I want to do. So there you go. That's it. So that cleaned up two of my three videos. It sim simplified them, made them a lot easier, a lot quicker. Boom. That's a way better way to make Nebula. Play with it. Leave some comments. Maybe leave a, um, a video uh, reply and show us your Nebula. I want to see what you did. This is so much easier. I just discovered this like two days ago. Been playing around with it. So much easier. Bam. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Um, I've also got a new uh, blog and I've got some links to some really really cool um, software that you might like uh, some different stuff like brushes tutorials uh, not my stuff but friends of mine you'll like them so uh, check out the links below and go to my new blog I'm gonna make an annotation here that'll have the address of my blog or just go down below and click on the link once again this is Chris with CCG sales thanks a lot I'm glad you tuned back in. Sorry it's been so long since my last video, and I look forward to uh, hearing from you soon. Bye now.